He is your host, y'all. Give it up for Sugar Bear. What's up? Hold on. What's up? Come on, loosen up, people. It's Saturday. What's up? Better get off that phone. All right. Let me start this off. If you've seen Barbershop 1 and 2, you saw my man, you saw him on Comic View, Def Comedy Jam, Comedy Central, The Dave Chappelle Show, all that. Put your hands together for Mark Simmons, y'all. Mark Simmons! What's happening, everybody? No, I'm talking to everybody in here. What's happening? <laughs> I start off like that, yeah. Tell you right off the bat, you can laugh at me or not, I don't care. I don't. I smoke weed, all this is gonna be funny to me. <laughs> it's fine. That's why I started doing comedy, because ain't no drug test. Ha ha! You get high as hell. <laughs> Any other weed smokers in the house? I knew you were, big dog. I saw that shirt. You had to be high to buy that. Give me three of those. <laughs> but I appreciate you, big dog. You're not ashamed to be a weed smoker. Because weed smokers, we don't hurt nobody. All we do is want good weed. That's it. <laughs> a weed smoker never broke in your house, stole your stuff, and took it down to the weed house and sold it. That's not us. You know? Never saw a weed smoker walking down your block five in the morning looking like this. not us. All we want is good weed. If we see somebody fire up a joint, damn near cough up a lung, only thing we gonna say is, where'd you get that from? <laughs> Can I hit it, please? And I smoke good weed. You smoke good weed, big dog? You ever smoke weed so good you forgot you were high? <laughs> Do something dumb like walk in church with a joint behind your ear like, what up, Ray? <laughs> oh, no, baby, that's for the collections. To get you closer to God, trust me, I just got back. Y'all got any more of those little crackers in the back? I got the munchies, for real. I mean, you ever smoke weed so good you talking on your cell phone, but you looking for it like, hold on, man. I can't even find my damn phone. I don't know what I did with that. Hey, call me back when the phone ring, I'ma pick it up. All right, I'm about to hang up right now. Tell you, man. I smoked some weed so good one time, I got fired from my job. Showed up the next day. They were like, we fired you. I was like, y'all was serious? Well, let me get a number three while I'm in here. Go ahead, supersize it. I got 39 cent. Forget it, take it out of my last check. Shoot, I smoked some weed so good one time, I went to a funeral and threw rice at the casket. They were like, get him out of here. I'm like, that's why it's not gonna last. You don't follow traditions. <laughs> Been to one of these before. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> but see, I don't smoke weed to get high. I don't. That's not my intent. I smoke weed because it enhances your thought process. It does. If you smoke good weed, you will think deeply about nothing. <laughs> not a damn thing. <laughs> But you'll sit up all night and try and figure it out. Like, okay, add the one, carry the three. <laughs> and every night I go home, I enhance my thought process. <laughs> I roll up a couple of good ones. I pop in a karate movie. <laughs> and I'm smoking and thinking. <laughs> smoking and thinking. But a lot of this stuff I think about, I don't know the answer to none of it. I'm gonna ask you some of the things I think about when I'm high, maybe you know the answer. Like, other day, man, I was high as hell. I'm thinking to myself, like, can you sentence a homeless person to house arrest? <laughs> it's a little baffling, isn't it? <laughs> like, think about this, man. Can fat people Skinny dip. <laughs> I 
And if they can, who really wants to see that? Here's a good one. Think about this. This is a deep one here. Technically speaking, technically speaking, can two midgets give each other a high five? Because you know they high five, that's about regulation level. But doesn't it seem like all midgets are conceited because all of them are big headed? Here's a good one. Think about this, man. Do blind people see stuff in their dreams? <laughs> and if they do, how do they know what it is? <laughs> no, you can laugh. There's no blind people in here. Yeah. <laughs> and if it was, they wouldn't know who said it or who was laughing. So <laughs> Don't blow my hat. Robert from the D, Detroit. Don't get it twisted. You know what time it is. We go raw, we go real, real raw. That's right. <laughs> My grandmother go to a Baptist church. Who go to Baptist church? I'm talking about the real Baptist church. White people, let me tell you something. This is the lesson you need to know. If you ever go to a Baptist church, a real Baptist church, if you're next to somebody and they get to shaking, move. <laughs> and they about to knock your tooth out. But we don't praise God, we whoop ass. Jesus! I grew up shy. I wasn't no class clown. Nothing. None of, my family didn't know I was going to be a comedian. Oh, I told them I was a comedian. No, you couldn't get me in front of people. I did military time. So I did like 10 years in the army. So after I got the army, I was a nurse before I did comedy. So I was a working guy. I was low key, kicking it with my immediate friends. Then I wasn't loud. Nothing like that, dude. No, this comedy making me like this. I know what it takes to get people. So now I've got the behavior I have, the attitude I have, the lifestyle I have. But I wasn't like that all the time. I was shy. Be, don't be afraid to go out the box. That's what's wrong with people today. They're afraid what people are gonna say about them. Do what the fuck you wanna do. But do something out of the ordinary. When you're in a wedding, they, th they throwing rice. Who gives a shit? You throw shoes. <laughs> well, congratulations! <laughs> 10 years later, they gonna look at the picture. This the dumb motherfucker through the shoes right here. <laughs> That's you! You different! My pace on stage uh, comes from, like I said, once again, being shy. I can't take silence. I gotta keep it popping, keep it. Even when you laugh, I'm talking. I got a lot of ad lib. I act everything out, I bring you into the picture because I can't sit still and let it be quiet or I, I almost fold. So that fear became a weapon just because people don't know that I can't sit still and listen to silence. So I refuse to stop talking. First class, baby. Hey, lady, take it to the back. Ain't nothing to see here. Should have thought of bringing some food. Hey, big man, I'm gonna make you mad. Look, hi, mommy. Enjoy your peanuts and your sodas. Can you believe they wanted me to check my bag? <laughs> first class, baby. Where my pillow? First time in first class? Come on, come on. Come on, bring it, baby. Tony Mama was the NFL sack leader this past Sunday. <laughs> Tony Mama got a mouth full of wisdom teeth. They call her smart mouth. <laughs> You know, when I was on Comic View, my first year doing Comic View in 94, 95, they had an award show. Cedric Entertainer and Lil Richard and Tisha Campbell, all, it was presenting an award. And they gave me the Robert Harris Award for most original comic of the year. And I never, never, never forget that in my life. And that was my first award. I was only been doing comedy like three years. First time on TV, first set, I won the Robert Harris. And Robert Harris has been one of my all time favorite comics, yeah. So no matter what I do the rest of the time, movies or whatever, that was my that was my moment. That opened my eyes. Said, "They watching me. I'm about to do it. I can't slow down now. You got to be the funniest guy."